Hello YouTube viewers, this is Hermes Dragon coming at you with another video. Today, we're going to be doing a little special video I like to call the wrist roll tutorial. I'll show you how to do it with a nunchaku right after this. Whew, turn to be back. Tonight, tonight. What's up YouTube viewers, this is Hermes Dragon and once again. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do the wrist roll, or at least a hand roll with the nunchucks. Basically you go like this. Like that. Now, keep in mind when you guys are grabbing this thing, you don't want to like loosely grab it like too loose where you actually drop it and then you know like that. No. What the best thing to do actually is to keep your hand close to the chain as possible. I'm not talking here. That's not really learned. That's pretty much cheating and pretty much chain is not usually used for you to grab on so basically your hand's supposed to be on the nunchaku at this at all times you know for blocking blades you know hooks commas bow stabs you don't want your hand right here and when you're twirling and you go like hi you're blocking and you go like oh shoot and then your hand gets gone you lose a finger or two basically keep your hand like right here so when you perform the wrist roll, it goes around your hand at the same time, but when it goes right around, like you can actually feel it above your knuckle, then you release the nunchuck that you have in your hand. And then you go ahead and twist your hand around to grab for this one. Now the momentum of the nunchuck right here will go around at the same time as you let go. So, all together, goes around your hand, as soon as you feel that chuck, as soon as you feel the chain, touch your hand. Let me get up closer so you can see it. Okay, so as soon as your hand gets right here, and when you feel this chain cross over your hand, like just, just as soon as it touches your hand, this first knuckle, you release it. Then it crosses over, and your hand's like this. At that one second. But at the same time, you twist your hand and grab for the other chuck, and then it goes right here. And that's how you do the wrist roll. And it actually works both ways, forward and backwards. Watch. See, backwards is basically doing the same thing. But instead of you feel it on this side, you're gonna feel it on your pinky's knuckle. So as soon as you feel that cold chain, it is cold. That cold chain right there on your hand, you release it. And then you pull it out on your hand like that. As soon as you get on your hand like that, you're good. You're, you are a-okay. And then your thumb, luckily, thank God for the posable thumbs, <laughs> posable thumb will grab the other chuck that went around and it should flip right around, flip right around and you grab it. So practice doing that like this. You usually just hold it like this and you practice doing this. So back and forth. Okay? Forward, back, forward, back. Forward, back. Keep practicing that till your hand gets used to it. And again, this is nunchaku, and again, this is martial arts as well. Do not only do it on one side, practice both sides. You guys don't want to go into a fight and you're, you're only good with one hand, and all of a sudden, somebody got that bad, I got your good hand bad, and you got the nunchucks, but you got to end up doing your hand. What are you going to do after that? What the freak are you going to do after that? As soon as somebody Right, like if some of you mess up, all of a sudden your right hand is gone. Guess what's gonna happen? Your bad hand is gonna be the one that's gonna be protecting you. What are you gonna do? This. You don't wanna do that. So I suggest you guys practice both sides. As soon as your right hand or your left hand, if you're a right handed um, person, Practice with your right hand. If you're a left-handed person, practice with your left hand. If you're a right-handed person, practice doing that both hands. If you're a left-handed person, also practice doing both hands. So once you get used to it, your hand goes around like this. Ooh. Like that. And it doesn't even have to go like a clock. You know, go you go clockwise or counterclockwise. You can actually get used to doing that by doing like horizontal. See, I'm doing it vertical. But once you get used to it, you can actually go around and do this. Go around your body. Vertical. And like I said again, people, 
Don't just do it on one hand. Practice with both hands. Now to do this, it's the same principle, but you got to be quicker this time. <clears throat> so I'll show this one in a different spot. Now for the other technique I was going to show you was how you can actually do the wrist roll but do it horizontally. Alright, I already showed you how to do it vertically and if you saw in a previous uh, scene you saw me doing a freestyle fury, flurry of a, uh, you know, horizontal and vertical works of a, uh, well, I was going to fail, vertical works of a nunchaku. So that, right now I'm going to show you how to do it horizontally. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your hand like this. So, hand's going to go around on your hand, way to a side view. It's going to be like this, the same way, same rules apply. It's going to go around your hand. It's going to be like this, but it's going to be down here. So basically, right around here. Let me show you this way. The dog's in the way. So it's going to go around your hand like this. You're gonna let go at the same time. Remember, you gotta do this fast. A caution, word of caution. When you're doing this, don't try to take your time doing this because then once this is midair, once this is in midair, it's not gonna work. So you gotta to have to do it quick. So whoosh, it's gonna go around your knuckle. Like I said, once you feel that around your knuckles, you grab onto it as quick as you can. And then whoosh, like that. So same way coming back, go, you whip it around, around your wrist like this, let go. Real quick, grab it and push. Grab it around your wrist, quick, like that. This, that, this, that, this, that, this, that. Okay, so what's gonna happen is that you're gonna put your hand like this, as always. Now it's kinda like you're doing with a, ver a vertical, but this time it's horizontal. So put your hand right here, and once the blade, not the blade, the chain goes around right here, goes around your hand. As soon as you feel it right there, you release it, but at the same time, as fast as you can to grab the other chuck. Don't take too much time and go like this. Otherwise, I'd do that. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. So you got to do it like this. On one side, like a blade, but the chain is going to go around here. As soon as you feel it touch your first knuckle, you immediately release and then try to quickly grab it as fast as you can. And then bring it back around here. And the other side, it's going like this. Coming around, you're going right backwards. Right here, coming around. As soon as you feel that chain hit that hand, release, grab, and like this. So you want to go around, grab, around, grab, okay, around, okay. grab, around, grab, around, grab, around, grab, around, grab. Keep practicing that. And once you get used to that, I guarantee you, this is going to be like a cakewalk to you guys. Alright guys, hope you guys had a great time with this video. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell for any future videos that might be coming up on my channel. So, I hope you guys have a beautiful, blessed day, and if you have any more, you know, nunchaku type of techniques you want to learn, or any type of tips you guys got, please don't hesitate to put that down in the comments down below. And, as always, if you guys practice the wrist roll, get better at it, and who knows, maybe you might be able to do some crazy things with it. <laughs> like that, or maybe something better than that. Let's take a try it real quick. Oh yeah, there we go. That's what I was trying to do. That's the ticket. Anyway, I hope you guys have a nice time. Peace out. Bye!